One indeed, a prominent Australian. She's with us here this afternoon. Eva Cox, you may know her. She is a social commentator, an activist. She is an officer of the Order of Australia. She's a former humanist of the year and probably the only one in this park this afternoon who has been so honoured that she has a postage stamp with her face on it as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to this afternoon, Eva Cox. Thank you very much. Look, I've been actually one of the people that's come down and seen many of the th theatre shows, got to know Rachel and Stefan, got to really admire what was happening down here. I live in Glebe. It was a really nice feeling to be able to come down to this park, to meet people, to enjoy good theatre, feminist theatre, political theatre, and just enjoyment theatre, and have it as part of the environment I was part of. And I can't see any reason why it shouldn't continue. We need to actually work out what we're going to be doing to, to convince the council that the new plan that they've got is just not appropriate in itself. It needs to have added to it the capacity to leave this area here as an area where, if you like, I hate to say, use the term, but I can't think of anything else, but grown-ups can actually also have fun down here if we've got a skate park behind. I think it's very important when you've got open spaces like this to mix older members of the community plus the younger members of the community because it actually creates a genuine sense of shared space, shared responsibilities, shared ability to do so. But we, all the people here, need to convince the council that that's the case. So if any of you are part of the original group that it, I think lobbied originally like Art Council and then the City of Sydney to clear all the arches. We need to talk to you to work out how we actually say, yes, but if we leave the bottom too, that that's not going to actually ruin the picture, particular picture. We need to say to the Council that what is happening here is really important in an area like this. So we do want to have the capacity to do so. We do have to thank Robin Chemis and the people that actually at least have given us the time now to talk about these things, to fix it, and hopefully to make sure that this does not disappear, that if they don't want it here, that they reorganise the area in some way so it can be close by, so it's not just a case of renting a room in Glebe Town Hall or renting a space there, it's actually having a centre where people can go, get a cup of coffee, and we actually, so that we can actually enjoy the space with a mixture of passive and active recreation and a bit of culture and a bit of thinking and some really good relationships with other people. So, over to you.